Aloha, welcome to Experience 26, Five Problems Every Software Engineer Should Be Able to Solve, Part 1. Santiago Valderrama wrote an excellent blog post about five problems that every software engineer should be able to solve. And they're basically problems that you might be asked in an interview. And so you should be able to solve them with it in less than an hour. An hour is too long for a wad, so we're going to take the first problem a modification of its first problem. And we're going to use that as our WAD to help practice using GitHub, Git, VS Code, TypeScript, and ESLint. So we're going to start off by starting a timer. Start my timer. Then I want to create an empty GitHub repo called Sum of Numbers. New repo. Mine. Sum of Numbers. It's private, add the readme, create the repository. Then I want to download it with GitHub Desktop, <clears throat> put it in my 314 folder. And then I want to open this folder in Visual Studio. And I trust the author, because that's me. So now, to set up VS Code and the TypeScript coding standards, I want to download the sample ESLint RC file. So save link as. It should be in my directory. And I know I put it under GitHub. It's 3.14. And it's sum of numbers. And that's where I want to save it. And then I want to save this file. Sum of numbers. Save link as. Save link as. Save link as. <clears throat> and now we should have all these files. Excellent. So now we want to rename them. Just hit enter when you select it. And so the ESLint ignore is saying we're not going to run ESLint on our JavaScript files. We're only interested in running the ESLint on the TypeScript files. So we want to have our configuration file. So again, hit enter. We want to delete the sample. And it should be a .eslint rc.js. And you can see that we have extends Airbnb, TypeScript, and we use the plugin. We do and we get the project from our TS config so it understands about TypeScript. Sample git ignore. Again, we want to ignore the VS Code directory because we don't want to store that on and we don't want to store any of the no modules in GitHub because those are based on the, your development environment. And if you're working on a team and someone's got a Windows box versus a Mac versus a Unix box, you don't want to store your node modules directory. So we're not going to do it. Sample package.json, we want it to be package.json that defines all the npm modules we're going to use and you can see there's a bunch of dev dependencies we have two scripts that allow us to run eslint on our code and then we need our typescript config and again there's no period there and the ts config basically tells us what are the compiler options, what files we want to include, and what files do we not want to look at, and we don't want to look at the no modules directory. So once we've done that, we want to run npm install. So let's start the terminal <clears throat> and run npm install to install all of the npm packages. This may take a few minutes, even longer if you're running on Windows. You may want to turn off your real-time scanner while you're doing this because your 
real-time virus scanner will have to scan all these files and if you take a look there's quite a few files in this node modules directory so you may want to turn off that turn off your real-time scanning okay so now we want to create an index.html and a sum of numbers.ts file so I've installed the extension advanced new file which you may want to so if I click on here and I do command n nope option n. well clear file new file index.html I want to add it <clears throat> since I installed the HTML boilerplate I can then type HTML 5 boilerplate and it gives me the a boilerplate for HTML5 and I just need to say change the title and I want to add a script tag source and it's going to be sum of numbers.js the browsers understand javascript they don't understand typescript and what we're going to do is we're going to write typescript compile it to create the javascript that we're going to import so the next thing we want to do is we want to create a new file called sum of numbers.ts and so this is where we're going to write our typescript code to solve the problem and again remember we need to compile our typescript to javascript when we do the import so we're going to write four functions that sum the numbers in a given list using a for loop a while loop recursion and an array functional programming so that's a functional program in method that we use on the array class we're going to call them some for some while some recursion some the functional way and then we'll console log all four of those so let's write function sum for it takes a list of number and it returns a number and my copilot is giving me this suggestion if I hit tab it gets it <clears throat> and you can see I've got ES is lit is running because I don't have a new line at the end of the file and I'm not I've never used I've defined some for but I've never used it so I got two ES lint issues so then that solves the new line and then I can Of one two three four five and I believe the example was one two three four and I need a new line so this should output 10 now I want a now to see if this works I need to compile this I can run the TSC, the TypeScript compiler, and you can take a look over here. I just have sum of numbers TS. When I run my compiler, it creates the sum of numbers JS that I've imported into my HTML. And now I can go to the command palette and do the live preview show preview in an external browser. And so that will open my index.html in Chrome and it's being served up by VS Code and if I want to see the console log I need to inspect it and then go to the console and see that 10 the right answer is printed so that worked beautiful so let's go and finish some of the other ones so function some 
while list numbers number. And again, I've done this a couple of times, so um, Copilot has seen what I'm doing, so it's giving me good suggestions. No new line. It's not used. Console log. Again, because it's Copilot's watching what I'm doing. Save it. I'm still only getting 110 because I haven't run the compiler again to give us an updated sum of numbers. And then if I reload, I get two tens now. So I've got my two tens. That's correct. Let's see, what am I? I did some while, some recursion. List number, it returns. So if list length is zero, that's my base case, I return zero. Else I return list, the first item in the list plus the list slice one, which removes, just gives me the remainder of the list, taking the first number off the list. So that's my recursive step. I broke the problem down, so eventually list will be size or length zero. So we return zero, and now I can console log list some recursion. And then last one, sum the, what is it called? Sum the functional way. This number returns a number. And now I want to use the reduce function on arrays. So I'm going to take their suggestion. List number number. What? Oh, if I could type. So I can't spell. <clears throat> so we use the list reduce function which takes an accumulator that's the value that's going to get updated each time and the current value which will be assigned each value each number in the list and so all we do is we return the accumulator plus the current and we initialize the accumulator with zero so we'll start with zero and then if we do one it's going to be zero plus one is one and then it'll be one plus two one three plus three and six plus four. I have too many. Save it. Go back to our thing. And then we're going to reload. Oh, I got to compile. Sorry, I need to compile it because my JavaScript is out of date. And then if I reload, I should get four tens. One, two, three, four. And that is correct. Now I want to say, check to see if I have any ESLint. I don't have any red squigglies, just visually saying I don't have any. But just to check, let's run npm run lint. And I've got no errors. I do have a warning because we have not installed the React version. And ESLint understands about React, but it's fine. That's just a warning. We're OK. So I've got no errors. No ESLint, no problems. i got to commit my code to GitHub. So I've got my files done. How long? 13.33. Commit, push, I can stop my timer. And then I want to make sure that it's on GitHub so I can go here, refresh. And I've got my files. I do not have the node modules directory because we get ignored it because we don't want to store it in GitHub. 
But I do have all my ESLint Ignore, ESLint RC, Git Ignore, the README we created, my index.html, my sum of numbers TS, my sum of numbers JS, from, built from compiling my TypeScript, and then my TS config. JSON that is my configuration from TypeScript. So I hope that helps you get us understanding of how we're using GitHub, how we're using TypeScript, how we're using ESLint, how you can run your code on the client because we are running it in the browser. So this is the client side. If you run it via Node, there's some other things, and there's a good um, screencast of the difference between running JavaScript on the client versus running JavaScript TypeScript on the server. You should watch the screencast. It talks specifically about JavaScript, but since the browsers only run JavaScript, we have to compile our TypeScript into JavaScript. So thank you very much. Have a great day.